Work time, work time, work time, fun. 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 I don't ever remember this happening. Work time fun, work time fun. Work, 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 work. I guess it's not done yet. Hi guys, um, welcome to the very first episode of Work Time Fun, or WTF. Work. It is not work. What you think it is, but um, let's just say that as you're playing this game, you will say WTF, and I mean WTF. I'm not gonna say it on camera, but you pretty much get my drift. <laughs> so this is a PSP game, and I haven't played this in years. I actually lost my PSP and decided to go ahead and download it and. Um, yeah, I miss this game a lot. Um, don't know if they still have it on the PlayStation Store though, but it's pretty entertaining. So let's jump right into it. I did play a little bit of it, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys kind of what happens when you're playing Work this game. Work time so. fun. <laughs> let's exit this. Work time fun. All right. So. I can start a new game for you guys. Oh yeah, I can. Oh, but I made it so far. Well, not too far. It is very difficult to get far in this game, but um, basically the gist of it is that you are placed in this office right here. It says placement office. Um, you're basically going to be playing games. Um, let me turn this down really quick. Okay, so you're basically going to be playing games, and by winning those games, you're going to earn money. And with that money, you buy more games and or tools um, that you can use, like a timer and uh, a bill splitter or something like that. I can't really remember. It's still a little fuzzy. And you collect trinkets, and from what I remember, there's a ton of trinkets to collect, and it's just complete randomness. It's just basically a bunch of mini games that you play and it gets pretty weird. So these are the games that I've unlocked so far. Let me see. So basically when you start the game you start off with Baseball Superstar, Pendemonium, um, Mushroom Xing, and Counter. So those are the four games that you start off with and it does get a little like eh, boring in the beginning but um as you progress and get more games it gets a lot more fun and um i'm not gonna lie there are a couple creepy ones in here and yeah so um baseball superstar um this one i unlocked recently it's called lumberjack you guys can read it but um this one i unlocked just a little bit ago demonstration roundup i don't remember what that one was or is Lumberjack Challenge, that's for, I think, two players. I'm not too entirely sure. And that's about it. So, 3, 12, 24, 36, 36. Okay, there's 40 games total that you can play, and there's also like the two player ones, but um, I don't think I can play two player with an emulator, so I don't know. <laughs> okay, so. Um, let me go ahead and show you what uh, play. I'm gonna try and unlock as much as I can, but um, let me just go ahead and tell you that counter is going to be your absolute money maker because um, if you complete all the levels, you earn thirty-two dollars, I think, twenty-seven dollars or thirty-two. This game is really weird. So let's go ahead and try Lumberjack first. Gonna get you guys 
into it. Not so much, but this kind of sucks. So how to? You just press X to chop the wood. And yeah. I think the farthest I've ever gotten was... 86? Or 92? I've never reached 100, ever. And I've played this game way too many times to count. And later on, you, you'll see a dolphin, and next thing you know, there's like carved animals. The sad thing is that you can't wait too long to chop the wood, because if you wait too long, then you lose. So you have to time it just right. <laughs> Bad example, but yeah. And you get a paycheck for playing the games, and once you reach a certain point, then you earn like a certain amount of money, double the money, that sort of thing. So let's exit that. And the way that you earn new games is by going to the vending machine. Well, hey there. He lies a lot like these machines, don't you think? Random as hell, yes. Okay. So I only have a dollar and twenty-three cents to my name. Let's go ahead and spend it on one of these. So there's the one dollar ones, and then we have the five dollars. There's the ten dollars, and there's the omega fifty. That one you get. Um, I think I, I feel like it's more like playing the lottery with the fifty dollar one because. Most of the time it's just trinkets, but you do get that rare game. But I like to play around with the one and fives for now, so... And you get trinkets. A lot of them. On the very bottom one. And here is the mail. This is just for... Um... Just random stuff you just want to read. You, it, it makes it seem as though you actually know these people, but... Yeah, so, Mr. College, I don't think I've ever received one from that. Nope. Looks like you started work time fun, too. I knew you would since three weeks ago. I'll send you a special thought for luck, so don't move until you feel it. I said don't. Okay. I reached an achievement. Achievement? Oh, yeah, I need to show you the tools. I've been poor this month, so I've been eating noodles for dinner, usually the five minute ones. But once I put the three minutes ones on for five, that was a disappointing meal to say the least. <laughs> His face is so funny. Anyway. Yesterday at the bar, we had 30 people there. That restaurant bill splitter was really handy. It's cool how you can put in the money left and calculate everything. Some of the tools on this are actually pretty useful, but I can't exactly carry my laptop everywhere, but <laughs> surprisingly, where you place your outdoor unit can drastically affect cooling efficiency. When installing your new unit, check the area around your house for the best place. Now, Hell Cantina is for multiplayer, so let's say you have a friend that's playing the same game as you. So, there's item exchanges, um, job menu for working with friends, menu for giving jobs to other people. Unfortunately, I don't have any friends to play that play this game, so I can't do that, but let's try and earn some money, yeah? Let's do, let's do Pendemonium. Pendemonium earns you a decent amount. So this is how you play it. You turn the pen by using your directional pad and, um, Circle is to move on to the next pen in line, and X is to put on or take the cap off. Your goal is to place the caps on the pens. And um, this one gets very, very repetitive, and there is no ending, I don't think. I mean, you see a bunch of zeros at the bottom, so you can earn a lot of money, but it takes a lot of time. So I'm just going to make enough to get a new game, hopefully. Oops. Ooh, 
the beginning of this game is pretty slow, but once you pick up the pace and you're in new games, it gets very exciting. And um, the tools are very funny to play with. And um, the more pins that you get correct without skipping any or um, missing any, then you get um, more money. I'm just going to reach 200 as fast as I can and then show you guys how much 200 earns you with a perfect amount of pins. Let's hope I get a perfect one. Going as fast as I can. Sometimes you get lost with this, like you just keep going and then you don't pay attention to how far your goal is. Like one time I set my goal for I think um, 500 pens and I just kept going until like a thousand. I didn't even know how fast I was doing it until I collected my check. <laughs> I'm almost there you guys. Do factories actually do this? Like you have to put the pen caps on each pen like individually or is there a machine? It has to be a machine because this would be a pain in the ass to do. There we go, there's 200. Then you just press start and get a paycheck. And I get $6.60 for 200 pens. That sucks. Can you imagine doing that in real life? That would be horrible. And then, um, I think I'm gonna try counter. Mind you, the sound in the background for this game is really awkward and creepy, so I hope you don't mind. Work time fun. So all you have to do is just press X to count the people that pass by, and um, start is to quit, but um, you're basically only counting people. So there's people in tanks, babies. Uh, ghostly looking people, but as long as they're like a person, they look like a person, that, that's the only one that counts. <laughs> Let's get started. Those are all the people that you can choose, or not choose, but count. Let's do this. And there's only seven rounds in this game, but if you just miss one, you don't get, you don't get any money at all. This game Sometimes takes a while, sometimes doesn't. And there's usually three mobs of people that pass by you before you move on to the next round. This is where the weird sound kicks in. It's like heavy breathing. I find it easier to focus on one side, and then if another side comes in, then that's when you count them. That's the only way I play. I mean, before I used to just like stare blankly in the middle and count anybody that passed by left and right, but that one did get a little confusing after a while. I think I messed up on that one. Whew, okay. I have three more rounds to do now. Music gets her repetitive. No! Okay. I didn't want anything. Damn it. Okay. So, that's just an example. Um, baseball superstar. I'll show you guys how to play. Um, yeah, let's do it. Work time fun. So, you move with your directional pad, A is to dive and to catch the ball, and then um, X 
is to throw it back to the um, person on base. So you catch the ball and then you throw it back. So, that, oh, Idiot. how rude. Idiot. <laughs> oh. Thirty cents, fantastic. And I guess with the other ones, I'll show you guys in the next video. But um, it's pretty late. I just wanted to do a quick intro of it. But I will be um, continuing the series and showing you guys new games and also the tools for the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. And leave, some, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!